Hello and welcome to another gash dang dolly memes from iFunny.co Right, I'm looking at some of these intensely fucked up images that an AI creates from things I see in memes So let's jump straight into it <laughs> The rest of the mountain proceeds to collapse down on top of them. That's how you know that this was filmed in a logistically technical spot for the Taliban. Oh, they could just roll rocks down at you. Holy f That was insane. I don't know why all the cars in foreign countries are so small, but here in America it must take a lot more engine power to pack our fat asses across the dry plains of our nation. Anyways, <laughs> I, I told Dolly to create a forerunner pulling a boulder up a hill in manga uh, anime style. And obviously, it did not disappoint. Look at this bad dude. He's, he's unstoppable. Fucking clean. I need a manga especially about the Toyota adventures of a forerunner and its eventual inevitable demise after 300,000 miles. Anyways, moving right along to Skyrim. Uh, you probably have heard about this game. I know, a little known game. Apparently, somebody's daughter threatened to stay at them. Uh, she just straight up pulled a fucking knife on her mom and got vibe checked and pff, I thought that would be hilarious. What would it look like if a child had a knife and apparently Apparently children hold knives all the time. This is what this is image is telling me that's common For children to be evil and be wanting to hold sharp objects What even is this? <laughs> so it's like it's getting better at faces, but terribly scarier. Oh my gosh. Speaking of scary images, uh, spooky gaming setups. What the fuck? Why is this not right? There we go. Speaking of scary things, spooky gaming PC setups, my friend. What kind of images can an AI create out of this kind of dark imagery to begin with? <laughs> uh, I give you the average gamer setup. <laughs> but in dark, scary, spooky places, the RGB lights kind of ruin it. The RGB lights just make everybody's house look like a dungeon here. We'll have to change that. Next, we have the game that you didn't even know was good or bad or terrible. Battlefield 5, that's right. Uh, this is the Battlefield 1 trailer, I'm told. And it's super epic. Right, the game hasn't started yet. I assume something badass is about to happen. The uh, kamikaze right as the game started. Somebody's able to hack in or have higher ping just fractionally to get involved into the ballistics. <laughs> oh, tragedy. They're crashing into 100 players. I, there's not like any crashing going on. Crashing into 100 people. Check back on that. Oh yeah, this is the that's what I'm talking about. All right, this is the spooky, scary gaming setups that I needed to see. This is just <laughs> what I would imagine anybody would have in their room without RGB lights going on. The fucking the den where you and Fetty the Fazbear play games. Oh my god, this one is. Too clutch. <laughs> so spooky. Uh, 
uh, scary back room, scary nightmare. What's a monster coming for you? I, I don't know. This, this, there's no jets crashing into 100 people. So disappointing. So aggravating. Uh, everything else that this AI does is absolutely terrific, in my opinion. The manga is beautiful. Creator of iFunny.co wears a fursuit. It's not gonna. It's not gonna put anything terrible or bad or inappropriate at all. Anyways, I might as well just keep filming and do some other content section in this bit, and then just slice it in half later. Question mark. Well, that's not even spooky scary at all. <laughs> These just look like epic gaming setups. Alright, whatever. Uh, don't, look, don't look at what I'm doing right now. This is the last one, I swear. Uh, the creator of iFunny.go. Let me talk to you about the one time that I met iFunny Chef. You know, the guy that had of ifunny.co we had the briefest of interactions um they had this channel called like i don't even know some kind of chat room where you like slide your bubble close to people to like hear them in different spots and if you're far away they can hear you anyways we were chatting it up in the main basically sounded like you had no enthusiasm for anything that was happening on the app and did not call out a person who was a bot that was there and didn't ban his account right away. That was extremely unfortunate and that's basically what's happened to the rest of the app for the whole time. That's what's gonna happen in the Southwest China Sea and that's what's gonna happen to Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? You pick up what I'm putting down. We need brute force action and lots of, um, I don't know, freedoms to do whatever we want so they can't restrict us but they keep restricting us so fuck them